Hey guys, Mitch here from Lick Library, and in today's video, what I want to give you is five fun blues riffs for people who might not even necessarily like blues music or playing blues guitar. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, simply, maybe we just haven't learned the riffs or songs that have inspired us to keep going and look more into the genre. So in today's video, I'm giving you five fun blues riffs that I think might help change our perspective if that's the way we've been kind of seeing the genre at a first glance. Everything I'm going to be talking about today is timestamped in the description. So without further ado, let's check out riff number one. That's powerful stuff. No hot skate and black skate. Okay, powerful stuff by the fabulous Thunderbirds. This is gonna be in D standard, so the whole guitar is tuned down a whole tone. And I'm on the middle pickup here, and a lot of this is gonna come from picking really close to the bridge. All right, so we're gonna get something that sounds like this. So it's all based around our bass strings, if you will, those nearest strings to us. All right, and it's all about that groove. And we just have to get that built up and we're using that kind of little slide there that in-between major and minor, nice dominant sound and thing. It makes for a great blues riff. And once we get it down, it's so fun to play. We build the speed up. Then if we want, we can hit onto that bridge pickup make it really spanky, and we can start to add in things that Jimmy did live, which make it even more fun to play. And what we're going to be doing is hitting these upstrokes here on the treble strings. So what we get is this. It's so fun to play. All right, one of my favorites, Bridge Size by Robin Trower. Now we start this kind of riff here with an open E, followed by the flat five chromatic idea. Grab the top end of that chord, and again, and we have this nice little thing here, this Dorian sound thing. And then we enter the second part of the riff. We head back to that again. Then we have this awesome little thing here, which is just this. And from there, we just keep repeating that riff round before we head to a chorus section with these chords that really help make this psychedelic track come together in a great way. And using a Univibe or Univibe clone on this song is definitely going to help you get closer to that authentic feel and tone of the record. Alright, next girl from the Brothers album. Now this is really just based around two chords really. We have our C sharp 5 and our E5. 
Obviously, we're in C sharp minor, but what we get is this. That's what the first guitar part does. And it's really just based around getting a really good gritty tone. Then we have this. just based around that C sharp minor pentatonic box one there and it's such a fun thing to play. All right, Night Train by the hardest working man in show business, Mr. James Brown. The one I'm playing along to there is a North favorite of mine from Live at the Apollo, but the record's much slower. Now you might not think of this as being a blues, but it is just a 1-4-5 blues. And we're in A flat, and we just have this thing that we keep repeating, almost like a bass line. Let's break it down. <laughs> Just move that pattern down a string. Alright, so what we end up with is this nice repeated palm muted idea on the A flat, D flat, and the E flat. One, four, five, just like that. And once we get it up to the speed of the original recording, we can get it up to the crazy heights of Live at the Apollo. All right, so last but certainly not least is ZZ Top's Just Got Paid. Now this is originally recorded in E open tuning for the slide, but what we're gonna be doing here is playing this in standard tuning in a really fun way. And it's all about getting this bounce. I'll play the riff here and let's break it down. All right, now we have to start here like this. So we're going to be hitting these open E's quite a lot. Now you get into a loop and play it with the right rhythm. It is really, really fun to play. Let's do it one more time. So there we go. Thank you for watching my five fun blues riffs for people who might not like blues. And if you like this guitar lesson and would like to see some more free guitar lessons, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And let us know in the comments section, we do check those comments, so let us know if there is any specific videos or content that you'd like to see from us. You can also get a huge amount of lessons over at licklibrary.com to help improve your playing with track breakdowns and you can even get one-to-one -one support as part of your membership. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. All the best.